My name is Stephanie Nolan, and I'm a foreign correspondent with The Globe and Mail, and I'm here today with James Fraser, the executive director of Dignitas International. Thanks for coming to see us, James. You're welcome. I would like to know, <coughs> first of all, a bit about Dignitas. From the beginning, it was an experiment. Um, it was to see how could we scale uh, access to treatment in a world, uh, in the developing world, uh, where health systems were extremely weak. The only doctor in the district that we're working with, Zamba District in Malawi, is uh, he's the head of the hospital. And that's, that's, that's one doctor that's for how many people? 650,000. One doctor for 650,000? One Malawian people. doctor for 650,000, yeah. When you say treatment, yeah. what do you mean? I mean putting people on antiretroviral treatment, which is uh, a drug that stops the replication of the HIV virus in the body um, and allows the, a person to go from you know, I've seen people being wheeled in by wheelbarrow, and, I've, and four months later, five months later, they're back at work. Uh, and what's the Dignitas model? What did you do that was different? A big part of what Dignitas does that's different is that we do not uh, create parallel structures. We actually work hand-in-hand -hand with the Ministry of Health. Instead of setting up a siloed approach or an HIV clinic, what we've been able to do is integrate um, all of the HIV services into, uh, into an outpatient clinic mode. So it's, it's integrated into the primary care system. So five years since you put your first patient yeah. on treatment, yeah. where are you now? We've, we've made incredible progress working with the Ministry of Health in Zamba District, so this is a district of 650,000 people that had no services when we arrived. Now over 13,000 patients have been started on antiretroviral treatment. So 13,000. 13, we've had um, uh, over 70,000 women have been able to access prevention of mother to child transmission. So this is the, when you take ARVs, it will stop the passage, the vertical transmission of the virus from the mother to the baby. And over 200,000 uh, people have been tested for HIV. Um, it's, uh, that's in the last five years. So when somebody uh, sitting in Canada hears you talk about this, uh, about the two million people who died, again, from an easily treatable condition last year, people who in no way had to die, uh, and they're sitting here and they think, okay, I can't go to Malawi, what can I do? What do you say to those people? It's important to learn about what's going on because once you know you can't stop knowing and uh, just that will increase your commitment to actually do something. On June 5th we have the Race for Dignity which is a community event that's held at Young and Dundas Square and it's, uh, it's an amazing day. Every year it's been an amazing day. Uh, we have uh, up to 50 bicycles, stationary bicycles where people are raising or riding. Some people for eight hours straight, some people have teams of eight people. Um, and then they raise money uh, for our work in Africa. The most important symbolism of that day is that you're really creating a sense of community here in Canada, uh, groups of people coming together here to help community in, in Africa.